Kathy Press again, and I am back with my YouTube series, Geriatric Care One, and we are doing the 28th playlist, and we are talking about what are the barriers that stop you from billing and making a profit as a care manager, aging life care manager. And we are now covering uh, how you change that mindset that you have to change your barriers. And I just, I just covered value proposition, and now I'm going to cover mission. We're changing the way you think. So I want, to take, I want you to take your business plan, if you've written one, if not, please write it. And your mission is right in that business plan. And um, I want you to adapt it for a for-profit mindset. And what do I mean like that? The state, does your mission man, mention making money? <laughs> if it doesn't, we've got to change this. And you go, oh my God, I can't put that in there. You can, you can do that because I want you to change the way you think about it. Your mission is to make money to keep on delivering those great services. So uh, you have to be 100% clear that you are serving, and we talked about in the, la in the last episode, high-end clients, top 10%, entitled clients who have money. So let me give you another example of a good mission statement because you can't come out and say that, but I'm going to embed that. That's what marketers do. They hide all of this. Watch Mad Men. Okay, <laughs> premium care management services and choices to live delivered by extraordinary healthcare professionals. Now that hides it all. That's what I'm talking about. <clears throat> but you really worked hard to get that hundred that ten percent in there. Now, a market, market sizing is not only changing your mission, but what I want you to move on to is do market sizing and find out, do you have those 10% in your market? And you should be doing this. And that's basically uh, looking at uh, the pricing structure that the clients will bear in your area. If you're in Omaha, you can't charge the same hourly that you charge in New York. <laughs> so you have to know what the, you know, and you do a competition survey. Again, chapter 13 of this book, How to Start a Geriatric Care Management Agency. So you find that out. And then the second thing is you want to find out are there enough ideal clients. Again, they're the top 10%. You can do that through the census and actually use something called quick facts. Again, all here. <laughs> and um, you next need to find out do you have enough third-party referrals? Because just because you have that 10% doesn't mean that you have attorneys and concierge physicians and hospitals and assisted living. They're third parties that will refer them to you. So you have to find out, do you have a big concentration of these third-party referrals that know top 10%? And then do you have the top 10% to move on to be able to bill to be able to make money because you can have the great mindset, but if you don't have the right clients, you're not going to make any money because they're not out there to pay you, not that top 10%. So we will see you next time. Go to my website, kathycrest.com. Watch the rest of the 27 playlists that I have here and uh, go to my Facebook. I have Kathy Crest MSW is my Facebook fan page. Like it. <laughs>